Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. On July 21st, 2022, at 7.30 p.m., approximately 42 minutes after the prison escape, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police at Coquitlam, British Columbia, were advised by the staff of the North Fraser Pretrial Centre that Robbie Al-Khalil had escaped from lawful custody. Al-Khalil was confirmed to have left in a white Econoline van with two others who were posing or employed as contractors. The van left North Fraser Pretrial approximately 42 minutes earlier at 6.48 p.m. and traveled westbound on Kingsway Avenue in Port Coquitlam. This is actual video footage of the van. Police have recently released pictures of the two other suspects, although the photographs are largely useless. The first description is described as a man in a white hard hat wearing a face mask, the black shirt, and a high visibility construction vest. The second suspect is described as a white male, last wearing a black ball cap, black shirt, black pants, black boots, black gloves, and a face mask and glasses. This photograph is easily identifiable by me as being taken in the lobby of the North Fraser Pretrial Center. The Coquitlam RCMP is working closely with the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit of British Columbia, the Vancouver Police Department, Canadian Border Services Agency, and international law enforcement agencies on this active priority case. If you have any information about the two men or the Alcalil escape, you're requested to call the Coquitlam RCMP at 604-945-1550. The file number is 2022-18693. If you see these suspects, call 911 immediately. Robbie Alcalil and Hells Angel Larry Ronald Amaro have been on trial in BC Supreme Court in Vancouver since June 2021 in relation to the murder of Sandy Dip Dura at downtown Vancouver's Sheraton Wall Centre on January 17, 2012. Robbie Alcalil, who was extradited from Greece in 2015, was serving a life sentence for murder in his role of the murder of Johnny Raposo in Toronto's Sicilian Sidewalk Cafe on College Street. His 2017 trial heard that Raposo was killed for a 200 kilogram shipment of cocaine from Mexico. Alcalil has pleaded not guilty to the first degree murder of Dura. His trial continues in spite of his absence. Three of Al-Khalil's brothers have been previously killed in gangland conflicts. Nabil Al-Khalil, 42, was shot dead in a suburb of Mexico City in 2018. He left British Columbia for Mexico in 2013 after he was threatened with deportation for cocaine trafficking. His other brother, Khalil Al-Khalil, was shot to death in Surrey in 2001 during a conflict over a $200 drug debt and Ahmed Al-Khalil was also killed in a gangland shooting in the Loft 6 nightclub in Vancouver's Gastown in 2003. Robbie Al-Khalil has international connections and can speak several languages. He could be anywhere in the world and an Interpol alert has been placed for his arrest. The big question remains as to how did these people circumvent the lax security protocols of contractors at North Fraser Pretrial Center? The current warden, Warden Chima, is responsible for all security at this center, and his absence of accountability is of deep concern and question. If you know the whereabouts of Robbie Al-Khalil anywhere in the world, please contact your local law enforcement agency or the Coquitlam RCMP. I got you, I got you